What's up, boys and girls? We are talking about Hunter x Hunter once again. Um, today we are going to talk about um, power levels. Today we're going to talk about Natero. Everyone knows Natero is so strong, but uh, I want to bring it back to a quote he made when he, he was first scouting and uh, figuring out um, about these chimera ants when he was like off in the distance scouting them. So I have it pulled up. Uh, this is what he says. He says, it's been more than half a century since I was the strongest among Nen users. Uh, now I'm more or less even with you guys. Uh, and then he says, uh, uh, well, they retort, uh, oh, you should have more confidence in yourself. And then he, he answers back, even when I'm at less than half my former strength, growing old is no fun. So that is a sort of measure of the timeline and obviously you know the author has to sort of juggle this all in his head and remember it so these sort of reference standards aren't you know set in stone if the author forgets this which he he could you know um it, it's not like in real life where these references are just like set in stone and you can't like forget about it um but if he remembers then that would imply that at the current time and age, it means that, um, first off, it means Natero in his prime, uh, which was half a century ago, could have most likely easily destroyed um, the Chimera Ant King. And I think it's so because um, Natero did in fact beat the king. It cost him his life, but he beat the king at half his prime. So um, perhaps at his prime, which is double his current output, that means he probably would have killed the king. It also implies that half a century has passed since that point um, where he was the standard, where he was the number one. So by the law of our real world competitive nature, that means that uh, there, you know, they people had half a century since Natero was in his prime to surpass Natero's power level, which I feel like is, is probably done. Uh, we have Natero's son, uh, maybe even others. And so, you know, it begs the question, like, are there people stronger than Natero? And I'm sure there are, but are there people stronger than Natero in his prime? I'm sure there are by far. And so where does that lie? Um, so a lot of people like to look at the the big characters like Jing um, and the others and I do think Jing and a lot of the others may be stronger than uh, Natero um, and I, 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 I have to retract that not a lot of the others a, f a couple of the others maybe Natero's son Jing for sure uh, the blonde creepy guy um, the clown dude Hisoka you know we don't know I, I can't say right now he is um, but there's so many others and I think regardless of whether or not they are I, I think they're few and far between I mean I do think though that um, this outer world that they're venturing into houses many 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 uh, entities that are probably stronger than anything we've ever seen in the Hunter x Hunter universe, including the Tarot or anyone else, um, which is very, very exciting. Uh, it was already remarked in a narration that um, the, the things already identified outside of the human world are like, I think, one or two classes above the Chimera Ant class. Um, I think, you know, obviously, I, th I felt the author did a poor job depicting that because it it's so obvious he just sort of made it up on the spot or close to on the spot and threw it in there because before that it was like the chimera ants were this unknown unknown you know species then the hunter association gets news uh that hey this isn't just some you know this is a real deal this is a you know high class danger threat and they're growing and spreading and they're very, very strong as a species, and they need to be wiped out. And so, um, once they figure that out, because you know you have these hunters who are very strong, 
coming out, you know, severely injured. Um, they send in Natero, who, well, technically, it seems like Natero just sort of identified it and fixed it himself without really involving the rest of the human world or the Hunter Association. And so for the narration, or it wasn't the narration, I think it was one of the one of the board members or something, they remarked on how uh, uh, the, the creatures of the uh, outer realm are of a high, uh, two levels higher class than even the chimera ants. I found that very, um, you know, it, it didn't really make sense because it really was like, uh, you know, the chimera ant thing was sort of settled by Natero himself and no one else was really brought in and it was just sort of this thing that was like there and ultimately it was just like uh, it was fixed by Natero it, they didn't really class the ants and how could they because like they never no one could really go in and measure their power level and then come out and then compare it to all the other things that they've classified and fought it was just sort of like Natero and the others fixed it themselves so it didn't really make sense and to just say you know pull out this arbitrary relative classification was just bogus in my opinion but still point being very excited for the outer realm can't wait to see what other HXH uh, stuff are coming out as always like favorite comment and subscribe I'll see you in my next video